Hey, hey, Tanner James, DJ TJ Training. The two most important cables that every DJ must have. It does not matter what kind of DJ you are. Mobile DJ, uh, if you're doing weddings, if you're doing clubs, it does not matter. You must have these two cables on you at all times when you're DJing. Okay, so let's get right into it. These cables are backup cables. They're gonna be used if something goes wrong. And there's many ways how something can go wrong, but this is gonna be what do you do if something does go wrong? Okay, so let's say you're doing kind of a traditional setup, not a controller setup, uh, uh, a, uh, two turntables, two CDJs, and a mixer, okay? Let's say you are using your laptop, okay? Now, if one of the CDJs goes down, or if your laptop goes down, what you can do is you can plug in your phone. Now, there's a few ways to do it, uh, but I'm just gonna give you the most basic ways so that it's easier for you. I know some of the newer mixers have USB inputs that you can actually plug your phone right into. It's awesome. But in case you aren't on that kind of newer mixer, you can use a standard RCA cable that ends up going to a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, I'll put it in there so you can see them. RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack. This would plug into your phone or if a CDJ went down and not your laptop, you could actually just plug it right into your laptop. So this goes into an external player, some kind of external player with a um, eighth inch jack and then this will go into your mixer So you're just gonna put this into a line in and then just plug this into your phone play a song from there So if something went down with your laptop or a CDJ or anything like that Bam, you just plug this in you can have this ready to go I actually used to have this as a backup already plugged in and I actually had my phone plugged in as well So in case anything went down all I had to do was I just had to hit play and I was good to go Now let's say you're on a controller and this happens, right? Let's say your laptop goes down You can still do the same exact thing bam plug this in to the line in plug this into your phone good to go I have one of the newer iPhones that actually doesn't have the headphone jack So all I did was I got the little connector which is right here and I will actually plug it right in and then I actually leave this in my uh, controller case so that all I have to do is bam, plug it in to my phone and I'm good to go. Now, let's say that your mixer goes down, right? Your laptop's still fine or maybe it's not, but let's just say your mixer goes down and the RCA method doesn't work. What do you do? Let's say you're using a controller and your laptop or your controller goes down. What do you do? So here we go. This is what you're gonna do. You are going to use XLR to eighth inch, three and a half millimeter. So again, this is the same one as the other cable. It ends in, an, in, a, in a headphone jack, an auxiliary input, and this side is actually XLR inputs. Bam. So you take out the XLRs that are going out of your mixer, and you're just gonna plug these in, plug your phone in, or if your laptop is still good, you're just gonna plug it into your laptop. You can play a song from there, and you're good to go. And bam, you are up and running, and you don't have to worry about the night being ruined because you came and saved the day. So really, I have this cable and this cable in my bag at all times. Now I do accommodate requests and so if somebody does come up with a request and I can pull it up on my phone and play it, I actually have this plugged in to my mixer and I keep it in my case at all times. So I don't even have to pull it out of my bag, it's already plugged in, as well as a dedicated iPhone cable for this exact purpose. So I just get this, I leave it in my case at all times. There's no reason why I need to pull it out bam, and I'm good to go. So that way I never have to worry about any issues possibly happening. So again, here we go. You need RCA, to 3.5 millimeter. And the second thing you're gonna need, and the second thing you're gonna need is XLR. And the second thing you're gonna need is XLR male to three and a half millimeter. And you're good to go. That's it. Tanner James, DJ, TJ training.